Here we go guys, the test of the DS18 Elite Z 15 inch subwoofer. We're gonna be playing a little Cy Morrison, Hunter Banzo, I'm chasing. Here we go. All right, one parking spot away. Two parking spots away. Not even up all the way, guys. Not even close. Four spots away. That sounds so good. Hope you guys can hear that song. Slams. My truck doesn't shake too much because it got four layers of sound bed on that back wall. Then just about every other surface is sound bed as well. out and do a free air test on this bad boy he's finally um getting broken guys you see the flex on that thing i mean the suspension is finally a little broken in he's flexing good Plenty of slack. Seat down. Now it says 30 millimeters X Max. I assume it's 15 each way. Thank you. 
thing. Is that 15 millimeters X Max? Try, should we try 15? 15 hertz. Turn it up. Holy cow, look at that thing. Nice. All right. Let's do. 30. It hardly looks like it's moving on camera, but in person there, now I can see it kind of flexing right there. Look at that bad boy. Can't even hang on to this pig. hurts oh yeah oh yeah she's bottoming out good on that one look at that thing throw her down don't want to blow her I do like this sub. Oops. All right, should we try 45? Turn her up. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let's try 50. Temp on her. There will be temp gone. I'm looking at, I thought it said 89. Let's check the coil. Seventy inside. That's not that hot at all. I mean it's 50 degrees outside, that's probably why. Not bad. Alright, next test on we got. We're gonna do 70 hertz, 15 seconds. Generate. Usually don't do much. Let's bump back down to the low frequencies here. Let's do 14. Look at that thing go. It's up all the way. Crazy. Alright. Really light. Let's try 18 again. Up all the way. That bad boy go. Twenty-five. There you go guys, $200 sub, DS18 Elite, very nice, a little tiny bit warm, but not much at all. 
91 degrees after all that torture. So I actually got this on sale, guys. Uh, 145 on Amazon with free shipping, so I got it in two days. So $145 for a 15-inch sub, a 1,000-watt 15-inch sub. It says it's 900 watts, guys, but this is way, way underrated. Um, I can pretty much full tilt this on my 3K amp all day, so I'd say at least 1,500 watts for sure. Two and a half inch black voice coil. Let's see down there, right there. Let's see, it's got dual tinsel leads. They're not the most heavy duty tinsel leads, but they're dual. Um, they'll get the job done. The only thing I don't like is the terminals. I have them all taped up here because it's hard to get this big eight gauge wire in there. They're definitely, I would say they're 12 gauge uh, terminals. They're a little small. It's not a mega surround. It's about as fat as my thumb, but it's fairly high. I mean, it gets the job done. I like it. Once uh, now we're done with the free air test and the box test on this, I have my CT Sounds Strato coming very soon in the next couple hours. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, welcome back. Finally came, so excited. Now this is the eight-inch subwoofer, the DS18 Elite Z. Right? You guys just saw the video on this one. Now, DS18 knows how to package a subwoofer. It came in a bigger box, and now you have this box, right? This is dun, 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 the DS18 Elite Z15. So, I'll pull you closer and I'll show you. So, essentially, it came in two boxes and then the main package box. And so, three boxes. Where the American base was one box, just the factory box with no cardboard on the bottom supporting the magnet at all. That's wonder why they get messed up. This is like absolute bullcrap. Oh, guys, you have no idea how excited I am for this. I just opened it up to look at it, but I didn't officially unbox it yet. All right, right off the top, you get owner's manual. There you go. Any questions? That's my Elite Z15, dual four ohm, 1800 watts max. You get the nice of wiring diagram. Nobody cares. Everybody should know how to wire their subs, but just in case, you can pause it. There you go. You can look to see if it's right. So pretty much, it's positive to positive out, negative to negative out. That's how you lower it down to two ohms, like this one right here. If you want to raise it up, you do bridge from positive to negative, and then positive out and negative out, opposite sides, like this one right there. But you want the two ohms, preferably. Think about four, uh, dual fours. You wire two fours together and get one ohm at the amp, like that. Ooh, I got two stickers on this one. Got the Wolf. Yeah. This is what I like. You get a nice template. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, cardboard. Nice two. Two layers of thick one inch cardboard. You can use this as a template cutout as well. And you got the beast. Look at this bad boy. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Let's look at the size of that dust cap. I have massive 2XL hands, guys. Look at that. Thing's huge. Oh. And it has three layers of cardboard on the bottom protecting the magnet. Good job. DS18, very happy with the packaging, unlike American Ace. Oh, look at that pig. Oh, man. What size is that magnet? Where's my eight? Look at that. You got baby girl and you got big daddy. Nice. Very stiff. Look at the size of that dust cap. And I wear two XL gloves, guys. You know, whole eight inch subwoofer. That's right there. This one. Uh, 80 ounce slug, so 160 ounce magnet compared to the 120 ounce magnet on the 8. And get up close. Ooh, that force pushing them apart. You can see he's definitely bigger. 
Same black uh, four layer voice coil, very nice. <laughs> All right, now this one said a 30.1 inches of X-Max. All right, I'm gonna pause it here.